Taurus, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's up? What's going on? As you can see, we are joined today by Magic Mike. <laughs> I decided to just go ahead and start putting the, the microphone in frame. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just easier. <laughs> it's just easier. <laughs> anyway, there's Mike, everybody. All right, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus, please? What's up? What's up? What's up? Take it resonates, leave it does not. It's not your story. Don't force it to fit. Compassion. Showing compassion to yourself, to someone else in general. Mm, okay. Commitment. That's you. That's your card. Absolutely. More or less the representation of the hair font and the, the idea of commitment. Showing compassion to your commitment, finding peace within it. Mm. Commitment could be a sense of self, showing compassion for yourself. If some of you recently renewed your commitment to show compassion to yourselves, to not beat your, yourselves up so much, to not put so many expectations of burden on you, remember to honor that, okay? That way you can show yourself a greater sense of peace because I promise you, the world will not. Okay, so long as they, <laughs> the world, honey, let me tell you something. There's a reason why I associate you with Ten of Wands. The burdens is very natural for you. So long as somebody thinks they can take from you, they will. So for those of you who recently committed to yourselves, I'm going to take more time off. I'm going to do more self-care activities. I'm going to do a better job of, please renew that, okay? You need to show yourself more sense of peace and compassion, all right? So, uh, and then also in the general sense, some of you, you know, you just want peace in your life and your overall commitment. All right, and you do so by showing your person compassion, your self-compassion, all right? Perhaps your person's struggling at this time and you are like, I'm determined to show them compassion, that kind of thing. Perhaps somebody's struggling at this time and you're just trying to show them some compassion because they need peace, something like that. You might know somebody who right now they're going through something very tumultuous. I don't know. Show me when it, we'll see. We'll see if it relates to your base. Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus. Show me. Any number of those things, huh? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus. What's up? Recent past. Page of Pentacles. Hmm? Current situation. Seven of Pentacles. We're kind of keeping an eye on something. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, my. You just pulled up the Hermit. You might have some Virgo in your chart, which case, pay attention. You're surrounding Six of Cups, someone of soul bond energy. Your future is judgment. Two of Wands. Decision. Five of Wands. That's causing you a great deal of strife. Your advice is to be the Ace of Pentacles. And then your overall is four wands. Again, harmony between two people. Mm, some of you are very much concerned with your wealth at this time. I am saying, of course, there is somebody's energy here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of low key. You're giving it heavy contemplation, whatever this is. There is somebody backing you who is representing the Six of Cups, balanced and nostalgic uh, energy. Could be a current person, could be someone of um, that kind of long ago and far away. Okay, that's what the Six of Cups is. And your overall is Four of Wands. I feel like you got something going on, baby. You're trying to keep your eye on it, trying to monitor the situation. Should you continue to invest in something? Should you continue to contemplate it? Should you continue to do nothing? There's something here, and you are trying to work out a decision. Two of Wands. And you have to kind of turn your back on whatever it is that's demanding your attention in order to make this decision, whatever it is. Because, honey, there will always be a five of wands at your back or a ten of wands at your back. And sometimes you have to literally turn your back on it in order to make the correct decision that is right for you and the people that are next to you or near to you or of concern to you. So I do see you taking your attention off whatever whatever the endless fucking things in life that surround us constantly. You have to take your attention off of that long enough to make a decision that is important to you. You're going to go out of a contemplative state and into, well, a judgment state sometime in future. And it could have to do with somebody's very specific energy. The Six of Cups is here. Uh, it could be to continue on in that investment, giving someone a second chance, starting over, starting new. I don't know. Let's take a look and find out. Overall, your energy is Four of Wands, and that's lovely. Okay, that's lovely personal happiness, personal sense of balance, right? Okay, show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Taurus. What's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus. What's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. This page of pentacles in your recent past doesn't tell me too much. 
taking steps towards the comfort of the self, the home. The Queen of Pentacles can represent many, many things. Um, ultimately, she represents comfort. Your concern in your recent past was your comfort, possibly with someone else. Page of Pentacles reflecting. Possibly communication between you and another person. Six of Pentacles, keeping things home and fair and balanced. Okay, so we had this idea of um, we were anticipating balanced energies of home, particularly where the money and comfort level was concerned. Um, baby steps to improve our home and our finances. Nothing crazy. Nothing you can't manage, honey. Okay. Uh, there is some communication here. To what extent, I don't know. But for the most part, I see you keeping your core concentration on balancing up the home matters, finance matters, and then our comfort level. Okay, this was of paramount to you. In the recent past, the Seven of Pentacles. Yep. You Okay, so you're increasing your work value. you got Pentacles all over this, honey. Pentacles all over this. We went from a seven to an eight, so we are trying to ascend or improve our pentacles, particularly where our money, home status, finances, and security are concerned. Gee, am I looking at a Taurus reading? I, 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 I'm, I thought I was looking at Aries. <laughs> In case there was any confusion. <laughs> I give you heck and you know it. Okay, uh, the investment into what? More money. Let's just summarize it that way. We were investing in more money. There's something else here. Though. I can say that's your primary concern, and I get it. I get it. I get it. More money. More money. I want to maximize my comfort. <laughs> if I like something, I want to be able to buy two of it. <laughs> you know who you are. Okay. Yeah, and you had hope literally for improving the coin. Okay, so we're keeping a steady eye. And there's some background noise of somebody else, I'm telling you right now. And it's not your primary gig. Your primary gig in the most recent past, how recent that is, is up to you, but it's looking pretty recent to me. As well as concurrently is improving our finances so we can improve our home and stability. That's, 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 that's it, in case there was any confusion here. And we had hope for that. Yes, we had hope for that. All right. So I'm the it. what you doing? Besides, besides counting your stacks, baby. What else you doing? <laughs> So I was like, that's it. I'm just counting my stacks right now. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Why is he here? That's your direct placement energy. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Three, three pinnacles. Oh, ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, baby. Mm-hmm. So while you're trying to concern yourself with your stacks, I told you there's some background noise of somebody else. You act like it ain't there. It's there. So let's talk about your friend. You have a friend. Okay. You and Pisces kind of tend to do this. It's not an accusation, honey. It is what it is. All signs have pros and cons. You and Pisces share this in common. Uh, when you don't know what to do with somebody's energy, particularly where their resource energy is concerned, you specifically, um, you kind of put them in a friend zone until you can figure out what you want to do with them. So you and Pisces can do that. Somebody can be in that friend zone for a while <laughs> until you can figure out what you want to do it. Uh, there's a powerful connection here. I don't see you making good on it. I think you want to. I think you don't know how to. And I say that because you're heavily contemplative. Your individual energy is the hermit. You do some deep thinking, baby deep thinking. It looks like it's active instead of passive, which is good, because if it's a passive hermit, then there's no point. It needs to be active in order to justify doing anything. Um, so if you're going to do some deep contemplation, there should ideally be an end result, okay, i.e. a decision, as we discussed in the future. So I knew it just wasn't about all coin, honey. You can't fool me, okay? Look, the hermit, what's he thinking about? I'll tell you what he's thinking about. He's thinking about that friend who is also a lover. Mm. Mm hmm Now, it could be a Gemini. Literally the translation, okay? It could be a literal translation, that friend Gemini. Well, what about that friend Gemini? Okay. Now, or you might have Gemini in your chart, <laughs> in which case pay attention. But here's the thing. If they're just a friend, why are you trying to manifest them? Mm. The magician. So here's the question, and here's what the hermit, you know, that nice little guy, you know what he's contemplating? Should I manifest my friend? I don't know, should you? You thinking about it real hard, Taurus. You thinking about manifesting your friend real hard. Okay. <sighs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The lover's energy. <laughs> no. That is. I'm sure you've heard me say this. Is a divinely guided connection. It is once in a lifetime. You're likely not to experience it more than once. 
um, because it's a multi-layered bond system. So in other words, it's complex by default. It is the emotional bond, the spiritual bond, the mental bond. It is the sexual bond. It's all the bondings. Okay. Um, what do you do with it? You don't want to give it up, but you don't know if you can manifest it. Yes, you want to, but that doesn't mean you are, especially since you're in Hermit. So, show me the Six of Cups, please. This may or may not be that person. I don't know. Show me the Six of Cups, please. The energy that's surrounding you. You know, someone you've known for a long time. They think well of you. You think well of them. Or at least you feel that way. Show me what's going on. Towards like, I'm all about my money. Mm-hmm. And asterisk. You. Ah. Five of Wands. The Hermit. Oh my. Oh, there you are. What you looking at? Communication. Possibly it's small. You're contemplating it. Okay. Honey, there's someone here who represents a Six of Cups. Someone whom you've known a long time. I'm talking shared emotions, shared uh, shared cups. You've exchanged many cups with this person. You've shared many memory with this person, okay? They are high ranking in your estimation. The Empress is never not high ranking. I don't, even though it's technically your power card, and they could be that they are perceiving you as such. This could be a reflection of you, especially if they've known you a very long time. This person could literally think that Taurus, I love them, and they're kind of a pain in the ass, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, um, or it's the other way around. The person surrounding you, they are of an empress status. They mean a lot to you. This person carries a great deal of weight in your estimation. They have the mantelpiece over your heart. Okay, that's who this person is. they kind of combative. Five of Wands. Um, they're also in the hermit energy. So kind of a quiet, begrudging energy. I'm kind of used to having my way, that kind of feeling, okay? Uh, you've known them a long time, so this might not be news to you. I'm not probably telling you anything you don't already know. This is someone of some, some significance in your life. Um, they have gone within as well, but for very different reasons. You're going within to think about this lover that's kind of a friend, and should you manifest them. They've gone within to think about this discord. I don't know what this discord is. It's the five of wands. Okay. Something that's combative. Perhaps they're having a hard time with you right now. Silent battle of wills. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know what the fuss is, but that's where they are right now. Or perhaps they're reflecting on you and how you've checked out as the hermit. Your mind seems to be somewhere else. Okay. And perhaps they're sensing that and picking up on that. And they want to know why you're so quiet all the damn time. Because they just reflected you as the hermit too, possibly. Okay. Uh, I do not know. I feel that these lovers and the Six of Cups are two different people, if I'm being honest. Okay. What's going on, please? See, there you are at the bottom of the deck. You're thinking about that page of wands. What's going on, please? Mm-hmm. On the split. Show me. Actually, no. Let's switch up the energies. Show me what I need to see, please. Let's do... No. Yeah. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me the best possible clarification. Show me the best possible clarification for a tourist. Show me the best possible clarification for a tourist. Mm-hmm. Show me Taurus, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Taurus? Show me this judgment. Decision needs to be made. Six of Swords. Moving on. Two of Wands. Did they make a decision? You don't know. Queen of Cups. Tower. Okay. Taurus, honey, I see you wanting to make a decision without having to do the work. Okay. I do. I'm not trying to be mean to you, honey. I'm just seeing you pressuring yourself to make a decision without actually having to do the work to make the decision. Okay. Um, you know you need to make a decision. Something here that's impactful to you, it's important to you. You can't get out of your head about it with the Eight of Swords energy, so you kinda, you're trying to bully yourself to move forward into making a decision, or to not make one at all and just be quiet about the situation, but that's not helping you. Um, there's a Queen of Cups here, and there's the Tower attached to them, or it's you in your heart space because there's things you have yet to come to terms with in your heart space. You know, you're trying to rush the process because I can see in you this pressure to make a decision. 
you know, and uh, that's just, it's not going to work for you, honey. It's not going to work for you. It's just not. Um, basically, I feel like you're ultimately responsible about what to do with somebody's energy. Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups. You fight this idea of new and yet to desire it simultaneously. Okay, so the Two of Wands has just been clarified by the Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Your, your particular knight. Um, honey, here's the thing. You desire new. You do. Um, you're not in a place where you can confront yourself on that. Not that I can see. You do desire new. Okay. But as far as I can tell, you have not let your heart in on that <laughs> with the tower. Okay. Your heart space is looking at that tower has yet to come down. This is information you have yet to digest. Um, I feel like you are trying to bully yourself into making this decision to just move forward, move forward, and then you immediately pull back. But I, 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 I don't know what that means. What does moving forward mean? Um, you are kind of fighting this idea of a new beginning in love, um, and yet you feel pressured to make a decision. I honestly, honey, I just see delay. Um, I am seeing delay. Show me the five of wands, please. It's like your heart has not come to terms with what it wants. That would probably be the best sum right here. Your heart has not come to terms with what it wants, or rather specifically who it wants. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on here? Show me this five of wands. The strife is death. Scorpio, you want it to come to an end. Nine of wands, the wheel of fortune, the emperor. Okay. And the king of wands with determination. Mm -hmm. You want this fight in you to come to an end because you don't want to fight it anymore. I see what your heart space... No. I see that your heart space is... You're refusing to acknowledge what's in your heart space. And yet your mind keeps pulling you back into another direction. A new way of being, a new way of life, a new way of loving. Okay? Um... What your heart, what you are acknowledging in your heart space and what you're allowing yourself to do in reality are two different things. Um, I think a big part of you just feels obligated to move on with your life since you can't seem to make a decision. Okay, one that actually feels good or correct. You just want to move on. You don't want to have to make a decision. But here's the thing. Your decision's here and you are struggling with it. You are struggling with change, particularly where your heart space is concerned. You want more you want something or someone different. You want a new way of life, a new way of being, a new way of loving, but also change. That old shtick. We are struggling with change. I do see you hopefully in the end standing in your power and making a declaration. Which way you will go, I do not know. I just know that you have a fork in the road. Left, right, up, down. You know. There's a junction. You are headed towards a junction and one that you are going to fight tooth and nail. Tooth and nail. Because while you crave new love, one that's not combative, not difficult, because you literally want the fighting to come to an end with who I believe is your, your main person, the person who holds a great deal of weight in your heart space. You desire that fighting literally to come to an end. You don't want to fight this person anymore. There's no guarantee that it will, because I see you exhausted, if I'm being honest with you. I see you being exhausted, continuing to fight this person's energy, and trying to find your place in it, in a way that feels comfortable. You do not feel comfortable in this person's energy, but you love them a great deal. Then there's this idea of another, who represents new. A happy home, an easy love. But you have not come to terms with that heart space yet. You fight, honey, and here's the only reason I'm concerned. I don't want you to be that tired. You're so tired. You're so tired. You kind of just want it to be taken out of your hands. You don't want options at all. It would just be easier to move on, not make a decision, and just continue to put up with it. Um, very strong fire energy here towards the end, Aries Leo said. Um, okay. 
Ace of Pentacles is your advice. I just, their, their energy is kind of stubborn, kind of hot. Okay. Um, I do feel like uh, there is a good chance that after what you kind of, how can I put this? Oh, again, let me know if you're down with sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. A lot of fire energy there. Uh, I do feel like you're going to be tired of fighting. I do feel like you're going to be tired of fighting. Your heart wants another way, an easier way. Uh, it does. But you're also kind of scared to make the change. And, um... I do believe that somebody's energy in the context of your relationship, whatever it is that there was a fight there about, you will concede. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Taurus? What's this Ace of Pentacles? Your advice is Ace of Pentacles. Start a new investment. Start a new investment in life and in love. Ace of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, start a new investment because your heart space, if you dared to look at it in that way, okay, it wants new, but it's too shocking and it's too scary and it requires you to have a change of heart, literally, a change in your heart space. Um, it's a decision you have to make, okay? It is a decision that you have to make and it does mean your freedom and it does mean your sense of happiness and frankly your personal sense of ease. Um, it does. Show me what I need to see, please. This four of wands is your overall. I just, honey, I just see that you want peace. And you should have peace. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? This four of wands. You're going to take a rest overall. You need to understand. You need to take a time out. Four of swords to the four of wands, correct? Heal. What is it that would make you happy? Truly, well and truly, what would make you happy? If you have Aquarius in your chart, I suggest you use it. Understand what it is that would make you happy. And then also, what do you want to see in your life, in your future, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? What are your dreams? Allow yourself to dream in a place that's resting. So, that would explain a lot. Show yourself compassion, please. Find yourself peace. This kind of tidies up quite well. Okay, with your overall take peace to find your own sense of happiness, okay? If you said, I'm going to commit more time to myself, that I can think properly and I can feel properly, I strongly encourage you to take it. You do have an alternative pathway here. It's kind of hard to see that. It's kind of like forest through the trees type situation. Um, there is a decision for you in future and it directly affects your personal sense of happiness for the long term, okay? Um, this person who I know means a lot to you, there is the insistence here that it, 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 uh, it has to be my way, you know, and I just see you being so tired that you kind of accept it if you refuse to make a decision for yourself, okay, in your personal sense of happiness, all right? Your advice is to literally begin a new investment. It was very succinct. Okay, Taurus, honey, I hope this was helpful to you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.